Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lursey and today I want to talk to you about textures in Photoshop. One of the things you want to try and do uh, when you're out photographing is always be on the lookout for textures. Things that you can add to other images to make them more interesting. You know, things like this where it's just kind of a plain wall uh, is not all that interesting in and of itself, but sometimes you'll find other projects where you can add in these textures and, and give the image a new look. And a lot of these I will get from um, from walls. Let me open that one back up. You can see this one's kind of got a brick side and it's also got more of a kind of stucco side. Here's another example of like a, a wood texture. And it's all over. You see them all the time. It's just a matter of keeping an eye out for it so that when you come across something like that, Something like this is a really interesting texture we can use. And what you want to do is, is just snap a shot of it wherever you are. And when you get back home and you're downloading your images, you want to just keep a separate folder on your hard drive and just call it textures and grab the one or two texture shots you have, drag them over there. And if you're super organized, you can go through and tag them and you know call it brick, call it wood, that type thing. Generally, mine end up just kind of sitting in there and I browse through when I need them. But uh, if you're the overachiever type, that's a great thing you can do is name them and tag them and all that good stuff. Um, one other place you'll get it a lot of time is from uh, papers and things. Like this was um, some kind of tissue wrapping paper. Oops, that's too close. That uh, I came across and just kind of scanned it in. And I will use bits of this on top of images. Let me show you kind of what I'm talking about. You take just a, a simple black and white image like this. And by taking this texture and dragging it on top, what we will do is we'll go in here into the uh, the layer properties and change our blending mode. Like maybe overlay, uh, soft light. I think soft light's a good one. Bring down the opacity. And by doing that, you can see it kind of gives it a uh, kind of a textured, weathered look. There's the before, and there's the after. And maybe even tone it down a little bit more. And it's not going to work for every shot, but sometimes you're trying to give something a little bit different. Let's take another example. Let's take um, maybe some of this. Uh, just select a little piece of this here. Drag it down on top here. Cover this up and do Command T. Drag the corners out. Again, play with the blending modes. And as you can see, you just kind of build these textures on top, and it starts giving it a different look than what it had. And a lot of it's just going to be experimenting with what type of a look you want and how you want it to work. But what you want to start doing is just being on the lookout. For, for these different textures. When you find them, go ahead and take a picture of them and put them in your library. And Once you start building up a good library, you'll have some more resources at your disposal when you want to start trying to uh, create something a little out of the ordinary. So I hope you'll give that a try. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know. Otherwise, check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.